okay so uh, so this is our subject actually automation in environment system okay uh, so here we have the uh, basic uh, description basic uh, information about the course okay so the course name is there this is the course code okay and this is a, a two credit subject i think you already know that okay and this is uh, this is the objective of this course okay the aim of this course okay so uh, in this course uh, we hope to get to acquire the basic knowledge on automation actually okay mm, this one i don't know actually so uh, these are your learning outcomes okay your syllabus this is your syllabus okay so you have uh, four uh, learning outcomes okay so we can say that you have four chapters okay so you have four chapters four learning outcomes okay so this is the first uh, learning outcome identify the basic function in automation okay so here we are try to learn what is automation and what are the other subject related with automation okay and how uh, we can implement a automation system uh, those things we are uh, hope to discuss in this uh, chapter learning outcome okay and uh, in the second chapter uh, we are going to learn about the application okay so i hope actually uh, okay i will tell you later okay so here uh, in this learning outcome we are uh, we will study how this automation is applied to this field okay to get the work easy okay and uh, next one we need to discuss the safety in automation okay safety factors or safety precautions okay and as the fourth learning outcome we are going to develop a simple robot system okay uh, using uh, uh, open source software that is ros okay robotic operating system okay so that is our those are outcomes okay of this course okay and you can see that uh, so uh, the first second third first second and fourth learning outcomes almost have around five actually all all uh, outcomes are the out, all outcomes uh, have around five credits no half half credits okay so if we add them together you will get two credits okay so almost all learning outcomes weightage are same can you understand what i'm saying okay. so we have to give a uh, similar weightage similar weightage to study about those four learning outcomes okay and uh, this is another important thing okay so this is how you get your final marks okay this is how, how you will get your final marks okay and uh, you will have assignment okay one or two assignment okay one or two assignment and uh, you will get uh, 10 percent for that assignment work okay and uh, you have the laboratory project actually actually laboratory project is uh, related with the learning learning outcome learning outcome four okay so can you understand what i'm saying i hope you can understand okay 
So these are the general information I'm trying to give you. Okay. So in our, I have already uh, told you that uh, in uh, learning outcome four, we are going to develop a simple robot system. Okay. So uh, that will be our uh, practical work. Okay. Yeah, is that? That is so. So that will, that will be your laboratory work, laboratory project to build a simple uh, robot system, robot control system actually, okay? So that will be your laboratory uh, work and you will get uh, 20 percentage for that work, okay? And you, have, you will have mid-semester exam after we have complete one and two learning notes comes you will get, uh, you will have the mid-semester examination, okay? Uh, which will give you around 20%, okay? And uh, after completing all four laws, we will have the final examination, which carry 40%, 40 percentage, okay? That is how your final marks will be finalized, okay? I hope you get the idea. You have one or two assignment, which you get 10%, and you have the laboratory work, which you get 20%, and mid-semester examination, 20%, and final examination, 40%. I forgot to tell you that you also have the presentation, okay? Actually, this presentation, uh, so you have to do the individual presentation, okay? Uh, we will decide it later whether we will do it uh, individually or as a project, as a group. Okay. So anyway, your presentation mostly uh, your presentation will be based on this uh, LO two. Okay. This LO two. Okay. Describe the application. Okay. Actually. I will give you very brief introduction or very brief, very brief fact about this, okay? And I hope uh, you uh, will find the details, uh, okay? And make the, prepare the presentation and you can gather the information and you can do it by yourself, okay? Because that is, uh, there are no any uh, uh, theoretical things only applications are there, no? okay? So you can get those information from internet and from newspapers or anything, from books, okay? So I think uh, you can uh, study this by yourself, okay? So <clears throat> this way we will continue the work, okay? Uh, so do you have any problem? If you have any problem, you can ask, okay? That's <coughs> <coughs> So do you have any problem? If you have any problem, you can ask me, okay? Do you have any problem? So you have any concern uh, with this information, with these LOs, learning outcomes, so especially uh, about this mark allocation? Do you have any concern or do you have any suggestion or do you have any question? You can uh, raise. So, what do you think? Uh, I hope uh, this say this will be okay, no?
so uh, what do you prefer actually you prefer online lecture or physical lectures physical lectures sorry Alan, I couldn't hear you. Physical lectures, sir. Are you like uh, you prefer physical lectures, no? What about others? Actually, I can continue the physical lecture, no problem, no issue. Uh, physical lecture means actually I will upload the lecture lecture session. Okay, then uh, actually this it, it is the interaction. Part, okay so you can uh, you can uh, you can go through that lecture okay and if you if you have any problem you can ask it okay so that session that interaction session we can arrange as physical physical we can arrange physical okay so anyway i will upload the lectures okay i will upload the lectures and you can refer them uh, any time as you wish. So anyway, I think uh, uh, if we can, if we can, uh, can have some physical session at the beginning, at least at the beginning, I think it will be good for you. Okay. So. Yeah, I think uh, most of uh, students prefer these physical interaction sessions. Okay, so we will do it physically. No? Any any student have any concern? So from uh, next week, uh, we will have physical session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, this lecture, uh, I think only five or five or six students are here. Okay, so we can't do this. Actually, today I am not going. Not uh, I <clears throat> do not hope to do any lecture. Actually, okay. So today, I like to discuss with you how we can continue this. Yeah, in next lecture, from next next lecture, we will uh, have physical session. Okay, so it is finalized now. If any student has any issue, you can face it. So I think uh, I hope uh, that uh, there are no any other concern. Okay, so it, it is finalized. Okay, so next uh, interaction session uh, we will have physical sessions. Okay. Okay. Now uh, I want to know about your field actually. You are environmental uh, environment technology students, no? Am I right? Yes, sir. Ah, yeah. So, what is your degree program? How your degree program come? Bachelor of Technology in Environment Technology. Am I right? Environmental Technology, no? B Tech in Environmental Technology, no? your degree? 
Yes, sir. Tech in environmental uh, technology, no? So, uh, so actually, actually, what is uh, so? What kind of stuff you are studying actually? So, environment means it is a very huge one, no? No. So, you are studying about the natural environment, natural environment stuff. So, so can, can someone explain? What is your degree focus? On what your degree focus? Can someone explain, please? For example, in my degree, my first degree is uh, in electronics and communication. So there we have learned the electronic system. Okay, how our TV is working. Okay, how our radios are working. Okay, and uh, also I have a communication stuff. So I have learned communication stuff. Okay, so how our phones are operating okay how our telephones are operating how we can uh, make a call okay the technical details those uh, in my degree in my first degree i have learned those stuff okay in your degree what you are going to learn what is the how can i say what is the core of your degree I don't know that is why I asked actually. Can, can, can anyone explain? Actually, sir, we are focusing on natural environmental. Okay. Uh, so, uh, and we we try to uh, modules and you not know, try modules and other materials uh, should given um, some current environmental problems and issues, and we yeah. try to uh, resolve it uh, technologically. Ah, yeah, environmental yeah. technology means yeah. uh, current situation uh, it's settled, settled down uh, using technologically schedule and uh, sometimes uh, we focus sustainable development goals okay. sustainability and uh, new inventions are in uh, our module yeah 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 so anyway you are trying to protect the environment no, no? you are you are, yes, trying, uh, you are trying to use the technology to protect the environment. No? That is the core of your, core of your study, no? Yes, sir. Right. So actually, I think that is very important, okay? So what you have uh, told us is very important, okay? Actually, actually, now I think that is the things uh, all we should focus on, okay? To protect the environment, no? so most of engineering works destroy or pollute the environment. No? Now, now uh, all engineers and all technologies should be focusing on the environment actually. Okay. So anyway, I think uh, you are selecting a good. Uh, you have selected the good. Uh, Field, okay, so so that you can serve the world and society very well, I think. Okay, so you can use your knowledge, and you can serve the peoples very well uh, with this uh, study, actually. Okay. 
So I am very impressed uh, of your history, Matthew. Okay. Uh, so actually, I think uh, uh, we have many automation system. Okay, we will discuss them in later. Okay, and maybe just now you don't have uh, uh, good uh, understanding about that. Okay. But later we can get that understanding. Okay. So I think uh, that is very well. And actually, that is uh, that is the thing we all all should be focusing on. No? Okay. So it is very important. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm, now. Uh, to continue this subject actually okay so so uh, shall i ask uh, have you learned about electronics stuff in your a level so in your degree programs and anyone feedback have you learned electronic stuff have you learned about the transistor resistor those stuff uh, have you learned in any module or if you have if you haven't learned it will be okay okay you can you can answer no issue so can anyone feedback And I forget to tell you that I have uh, uploaded the I have uploaded our reference book. Okay, this will be our reference book. Hmm? Okay, and you can download it from here. Okay, in this resource section, you have uh, get this book. Okay, and also this book is available in our. A library okay a library means uh, in digital library you can get this uh, pdf version and i i hope that uh, this book should be available the, the book also should be available in our library okay anyway i think all of you can get the pdf now so here also you can get the pdf okay so you can get uh, you can download this book hmm? okay so we will use this book as our reference book, okay? So uh, here we can get the complete uh, knowledge about the automation and uh, basic robotic stuff, okay? So please uh, download this book also. And if you have time, you can uh, go through it in your free time okay so so can you answer my question have you learned about any electronic stuff electronic uh, module or something in your degree program so i think uh, when you are doing the o level when you were doing the o level uh, you have learned the electronic basic electronic systems no uh, about the transistor about the resistor as i can remember in grade seven we are learning about uh, the transistor transistor as a switch and transistor as amplifier after that have you learned any uh, electronic stuff up to now Yes or no? Okay. Can anyone 
ఫిఫ్టీన్త్ అవునది కదా అది హెవెన్ లర్న్ అని సమ్ సెట్ దట్ ఇయర్స్ అండ్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఆర్ సెయిన్ నో ఓకే సో డూ డిడ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ మొడ్యూల్ రిలేటెడ్ విత్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ can can you give the name of that module kind have you learned the module have you learned the module ah at the a level you have learned no yeah in a level have you learned about logics gates logic circuit logic gates like and gates nand gates about the transistor Ah, you have already learned no? so i think uh, you have a basic idea no? about the logic gates and about the transistor you have the basic idea no? okay i think uh, uh, so if you have learned those things basically i think it will be enough to continue our study here okay so if you have already uh, forgot these things it will be okay don't worry okay uh, but uh, you should have a, a basic idea of these things okay uh, to continue the work to, to continue this study that is why i ask okay don't take it uh, very seriously uh, okay so can you remember so okay okay then uh, before uh, going for a study okay uh, i will ask a question from you okay uh, so i will try to give you a task okay i will try to give you a ta task and uh, uh, so i will ask some question okay so you can uh, answer the question uh, as you know that will be okay okay so first okay so i think uh, you have already got a clear idea about the subject and how we are going to uh, do this no okay about the information about the basic information and how we are continuing this uh, study i think you already have a idea no so if you have any problem you can ask i hope you don't have any question no? okay so we will continue okay uh, so i will stop sharing this no? uh, okay 
Okay, give me a moment. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, okay. So Actually, I don't have my writing pad uh, now because uh, I hope to do a physical session today. So I didn't bring it here. Yeah. I don't know the way that maybe that's the number of time. Okay, huh? That's it. I'll take you. Okay. Can you hear it? Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, so, okay. So, uh, I, can you see the whiteboard? Can you see my writing? Can you see my writing here? Ah, okay, thank you. Okay, uh, so say that. Hmm, okay, say that you have a tree. Okay, say that you have a tree like this. Okay, and uh, this tree is inside the greenhouse or something. Okay, this tree is inside the greenhouse or something. Okay. And here you have a AC machine, air conditioner. Okay, you have a AC machine. Okay, and here you have a heater. Okay, heater. So already you know what is we can do with the AC machine. We are use the AC machine to. Uh, Reduce the temperature, no? okay? To cool the environment, okay? And heater is to is uh, heater uh, is used to increase the temperature, okay? So you have AC and heat, okay? So these two unit you can control the temperature, no? You can change the temperature, okay? So using these two uh, stuff you can change the temperature, okay? Change the temperature. Okay. You can change the temperature, okay? Okay. Now, uh, say that hmm, you want to measure the temperature in this, uh, uh, around this tree, okay? Around this tree, near this tree, you want to measure the temperature, okay? So, uh, shall anyone uh, can anyone tell me that how can we measure the environment temperature? How can we measure the temperature? Can anyone tell me? So if you want to measure your body temperature, uh, what you are going to use?
Yes, thermometer. I'm okay. Okay. So you can use the term thermometer. Okay. To measure the uh, temperature. Okay. Uh, and here also you can. Uh, so there are several type of thermometer. Okay. Some thermometer you can use to measure the water uh, temperature. Some uh, some thermometer you can use to measure the body temperature. Okay. And there are some thermometers they can measure the environment temperature also. Okay. So here you are going to use a thermometer to measure the temperature. Okay. So this will be our thermometer. Okay. So this will be our thermometer. So, uh, so have you know? Uh, so there, so you know that. Uh, <clears throat> so this uh, thermometer is used to measure the temperature, no? Okay, and also uh, there are some meters uh, that can be used to measure the water level. Okay, and some meters are there uh, we can measure the current we can measure the voltage like that okay so uh, this kind of meters there is a common name do you know what is that okay. so what is that actually do you know there's a common name for this kind of uh, meters okay actually they are sensing some uh, parameters okay okay can anyone this so these these are sensing uh, instrument okay it sends uh, this thermometer sends the temperature, you no? Know? Okay. So some meters sends the water, water level. Okay. So what is the common name for this this type of instrument? We called this. Uh, yeah, I got the answer. Yeah. So these are sensor actually. Okay. So we can. See, we can say that these are sensor. Okay, these are sensor. So this is a temperature sensor. Actually, the thermometer is a temperature sensor. Okay, temperature sensor. Okay, and also uh, sometimes we call these transducers. Okay, we call these transducers. Okay. So I will uh, actually you have in your study you are going to learn about this stuff. Okay. So later I will uh, explain why we called transducer. So the sensor are called transducer. I will explain it later. Okay. At this moment, try to uh, try to uh, keep remember. Okay. The names. Okay. And I forget to tell uh, another thing. I hope to do a open book test for both uh, mid semester and end semester. Uh, we will have open book test. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so I think it will be easy for you. Okay. So you no need to remember everything. Okay. So later we will discuss these things. Okay. But uh, this type of things, I think it is better to keep uh, in mind, okay? Because uh, these things we are using very rarely, okay? So uh, you can keep the, keep uh, this kind of things in your mind. That is better, I think, okay? So these are called sensors, okay? So uh, in our body also we have some sensors, no? So can anyone tell? In our body, we have some sensors, no? So can anyone tell me what are the uh, what are the sensors we have in our body? Yeah. 
Just tell me. Okay, I get you some way to come on. Sensors means some way to come Okay, so what are the sensors in our body? I can get you know, some way to come Yes, very good. I think uh, all of you have, uh, many of you have name only four sensors. No? I think five sensors are there. No? I see a small systems. And uh, what is the other sensor? Don't give, no? Give it. <laughs> so that is also a sensor. No? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. Now we will uh, come to our system again okay now i want to now i want to control the temperature in this uh, in this environment okay in this environment so uh, and i have these things i have a thermometer and i have a ac and i have a heater okay now i want to control the uh, temperature here for example for this tree, it is said that 26 Celsius degree is the best temperature for this tree, okay? So I want to maintain the temperature around this tree, okay? At 26 Celsius degree, okay? So using this in instrument, uh, can you suggest how we can do this task? Can you suggest this? Please tell me how we can do this task. So we have a air condition, we have a heater, we have a thermometer, and you want to maintain the temperature here at 26 Celsius degree, okay? So how when how can we achieve this? Can anyone tell? So if you can, if you if you want, you can talk. Okay. If it is uh, hard to write, hard to hard to type, you can just uh, tell me how we can do this. I put one answer. Yeah, one student said that uh, TMA. Okay, so actually that is uh, somewhat advanced answer. Okay, uh, I I uh, didn't expect uh, such answer. Okay, that is also somewhat uh, correct. Okay, using the logic equipment, we can do this actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Actually, we can use this. Uh, we can uh, we, we can achieve this using uh, logic uh, circuits. No issue. Okay. So electronically, we can achieve this this kind of things. Okay. So what you have to do is okay. What you have to do is you have to integrate all these things together. No. First, you have to first. I'm sorry. I can't write properly, okay? Because I didn't bring the my writing pad today. Okay. 
So that is the problem. Okay. Uh, okay. So how you should do is you you can see that all this should be connected to each other. No? All these should be connected to each other. Otherwise, we can't achieve this task. Okay. This uh, this sensor and this air conditioner and this heater should be connected together somehow. Okay. Otherwise, we can't get a relationship between these. No. Okay. So both. So if we, for example, if this AC is uh, operating separately, okay. So we can't control it. Okay. We can't control it based on the sensor value, based on the sensor value. Okay. And if the heater is uh, separately working, we can't control the heater based on this sensor value. Okay. So first of all, we have we we have to interconnect all these instruments. Okay. Okay. So that is our first task. Okay. So uh, so you can understand that we can't just interconnect these things uh, as you wish. No? We can just uh, tie them up. Okay. So we have to interconnect these things through some kind of system. Okay. Some kind of system we have to interconnect these things. No. Otherwise, we can't we can't control these things uh, to get our desired output. No. Can you understand what I'm saying? So if anyone couldn't understand, please uh, feedback, okay? So we need to, first of all, we need to interconnect these things, okay? But we need to interconnect these things through a proper system actually, okay? Otherwise we can't get the desired output. Am I right? So, okay. Yeah, I am right, no? Because otherwise we can't get the desired output. Okay. So actually this system, what is this system? Okay. So this system is used to control these things, no? So this system will get the value from this sensor. Okay. And according to this value, this system will control or switch on or switch off this air conditioner or heater. Okay. For example, if this uh, thermometer sends that the temperature is 25, 20, let's say 20 Celsius degree, 20 Celsius, then what this system should do? It should. What, what is this system should do? Can anyone tell? So this thermometer get the value 20 Celsius. Okay. Now we need to maintain the temperature at 26 degree. Okay. So if this thermometer sends the uh, temperature, okay, as 20 degree, but this system should do. The system can identify this value. Okay, so the system can identify. Oh, uh, here the temperature is twenty degree. Okay, so what should this system do? Can anyone tell? Yeah, yeah. Any other answer? Maybe one student uh, has given the correct answer. What about others? Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, so I think, uh, yeah, we should turn on the, we should turn on the heater, no? Okay, so I think uh, student, some students have given the correct answer, okay? We should turn on the heater, then the temperature will increase, okay? And at any time, say that uh, the temperature is directed as 28, and what should this controller should do? This system should do? It's, uh, it should turn off the heater and turn on the AC. Likewise, we can maintain the temperature here, okay? So actually, what is this system do? This system control these things, no? This system is control these things. So this is a control system actually, okay? Okay, so this is just a, a, a very basic automation system actually, okay? This is very basic automation system, okay? In our next lecture, we will try to study some theory, okay? Theory and the concept behind these automations, okay? So I think you have another lecture at four o'clock, no? So we will stop here, okay? And uh, we will have our proper le lectures uh, from next week, okay? Okay, so thank you for joining, okay? Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, you can leave, okay? So if you have any problem, you can ask. Okay, thank you for joining.